trying to find better lighting. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello. So I'm getting ready to go. Okay, this isn't working. I'm getting ready. I need to like scratch down. I'm getting ready to go to the hair salon because today she's going, my stylist is going to look at my hair just to like see what it's looking like, like the color and tones. That way we can figure out what we're going to do for extensions because I am going to be getting matching tape and extensions. She was trying to see if she could salvage my old extensions and just like dye them to match this hair color. So we'll know more after this appointment. Just at the appointment, it was super quick. I was in there for like five minutes. Um, I did end up having to order new hair extensions. So sad for my wallet, but kind of glad um, just to start off with a fresh pack of brunette hair because from my past, from the past, um, I always felt like the brunette hair extensions, like when I was brunette before being blonde, they always felt a lot healthier because they're not processed as much as blonde ones and my blonde ones were always mixed with different colors and I would get them processed again because I would want them to like match better with my hair so I felt like they they didn't always feel like the absolute healthiest compared to brunette hair I've, I've spoken about that before um so I will be back in exactly one week to get my new hair installed I'm so excited to get like the full look to see how everything looks I'm obsessed with like makeovers <laughs> that's what I feel like I'm getting like a new makeover we'll be back in a week I'll bring you guys with me so we can see the full transformation hello you guys so it's been a week now since i went to the salon to get my console to see like what color hair extensions we would get i'm going to answer all of your questions because i have gotten questions on instagram i'm going to answer all of those later today because right now i'm right now i am rushing i don't even know where my socks are i'm rushing to head out and actually get to my appointment i forgot how much i love these sneakers I like how tall they make me because they have this platform. Hi, baby. But I just, <laughs> I had to come over here and show you guys. Can you believe I'm wearing a jacket? I think it's like 70 degrees outside. I don't know, but it's like super gloomy. I think it's going to be raining all day. So I just wanted to take a jacket in case I get cold because I always get cold at the salon anyways. And I'm just wearing this little short sleeve t-shirt. But yeah, I just can't believe I'm wearing a jacket because I, I feel like I look very fall right now. All right, so I'll give you guys a little bit of a recap in case this is your first video watching or in case you didn't see my vlog where I ruined my blonde hair. And you're like, what the heck? Why do you have dark hair now? A little over two weeks ago, I accidentally ruined my blonde hair. So I will link the vlog below so you guys could see all of that and catch up with us. So then I took that as a sign. I was like, you know what? I'm done with this blonde hair. As much as I loved it, as much fun as I had, it is super high maintenance and... I was like I'm gonna go dark so I went to the salon like two days after that I went brunette like full-on brunette and it was a shock to my system like it took me quite a while to get used to the color because at first I was like whoa this is way too dark this is not what I wanted I am not happy um, and now it's been a full two weeks and I feel like I've had time to have the hair color grow on me I'm I actually really love it now and since I've washed it a few times, it really gave me a chance to see the true color. Because you know when you first leave the salon, when you go when you go like some type of dark color, it's always much darker. Like it's always much darker the first day, like the first couple days until you actually wash it a couple times. Now that I've washed it a few times, the color has faded. Now I see the true color. I really do love it, and my hair feels so much healthier, which I, I expected it to since I was leaving the blondness behind. But wow, it feels so much nicer and I really, really like that. The hair extensions were ruined. The original ones that I had that were blonde, they were ruined. They tried their best to color match me and see if they could just color them, but it wasn't, I feel like, I think she said it was looking a little too green. So I ended up having to order brand new extensions. Last week I went to the salon to get color matched and we ordered hair extensions that are going to be a perfect match. I'm excited to have one solid color because you guys know.
I just got in my car and my hair looks so it's crazy like how much lighter it actually does look like I told you guys when I initially went back to the darker side it looks so dark that it almost looked black so it kind of freaked me out but wow it's a really really pretty color I feel like this is the exact color that I wanted actually very happy I'm gonna show you guys a close-up here because I have a feeling once I get home the lighting is gonna be super dark it is just the cloudiest day ever it's raining so much so I rather I feel like this is the one moment you're gonna get to see like the true color because I have no idea what kind of lighting situation we're gonna be walking in at home but I'll fill you guys in in a bit when I get home on everything that you're probably wondering because i also got some new questions on instagram right now because i posted a photo that i was at the salon so i will fill you guys in very very soon look who's in a playful mood are you happy mama's home you want to go play oh my gosh i'll be right back and then we'll play hey are you following me look at your toys everywhere oh my gosh little cutie Mwah. I just had to come in and like take this all in. First of all, let me take this jacket off. Love this color so much, you guys. You see how it looked kind of different in every lighting? That's why I wanted to show you guys how it looked in the car because you could you could see the lightness in the car and now that it's kind of gloomy in here, it looks darker, but I really, really love how everything came out. I'm gonna grab some kombucha and then we'll sit down and talk. All right, I'm getting my energy back. I can film now. Well, I can keep talking one question that I keep getting is whether I miss my blonde hair and initially like when I that that first couple days that I went darker I did miss it but now I don't I, I'm really loving this color I ended up having to order new hair extensions which initially I was kind of annoyed at but now I'm glad that I did because it was just such a perfect match like I literally look like I grew all of this hair from my very own head like it's it's such a perfect match like when I was looking at the color like when I was picking it we like I would hold it up to my hair and I was like wow like it literally disappears right into my hair and when I saw all of it today I was like wow that is such a beautiful beautiful color so I'm really glad that I ended up having to order new hair because it just looks much better the hair extension brand that we use is called hotheads and it is a brand that only licensed hairstylists can order i've looked it up online and they only sell it to licensed hairstylists like i said that's just the brand that the salon that i go to orders from that is i believe that's the only tape and brand that they order from i really love the quality i've been using hotheads now for this past year and i really love it i have no complaints the hair quality is amazing i love it they have a lot of color options in the salon as you guys saw she all once she installs everything she kind of frames my hair we kept most of the length because i did like the length the hair extensions are 18 to 20 inch that's what it said on the packet and then she just kind of frames like the front of my hair and a little bit of the back so that it blends and this is like the most perfect blended job i've had in such a long time that's what i like about darker hair is that you can blend hair extensions so much easier in my opinion anyways i've done so many videos on tape and hair extensions that i feel like you guys must be bored but i swear to you i keep getting dms ask me questions about hair like about taping so i'm sorry if this sounds repetitive but i just want to answer for like maybe the newer people that are new to my channel or that just have new questions about tapings because i could literally talk about hair forever i love hair somebody asked me about putting your hair up can you put your hair up with tape and hair extensions and technically you can but the tapes do show I, so just a warning if you like to wear your hair up maybe tapins aren't the best option for you unless your stylist can make it in a way where they don't show as much personally i do not love wearing my hair up i rarely wear my hair up unless like i'm in the house doing something even when i go to the gym i will usually wear it kind of like maybe like this where it doesn't show anyways but for the most part whenever i work out i always wear my hair in a low pony that way it just stays out of my way but yeah for me that doesn't bother me whatsoever because i don't wear my hair in a bun i don't wear it up like I, it's just not my thing so i don't care i just finished filming and i thought maybe we could continue this vlog i know technically it's about the hair but the day is not over so i figured that i would just keep vlogging and bring you guys with me i feel like this weather is making me sleepy i mean i have been up since like 7 a.m but 
I feel like this gloomy weather is making me even more sleepy. But we're gonna go to Chick-fil-A right now. I am starving. It is five o'clock. I haven't eaten anything all day, only coffee. And yeah, I've just been busy. I've been talking a lot because I filmed a video and then I've also been doing a Q&A on my Instagram stories. So all this talking has me very hungry. And I need to eat something right right now. I've been we've been making our meals at home every single day, but you know it's Friday. I want to go and get something, and I'm too tired to make anything. You know when you're just so tired that you don't have the energy to actually make something. That's that's how I feel right now. So we're going to Chick Fil A. What do you guys get at Chick Fil A? I feel like I'm pretty basic. Oh my god, the drive through is clear. I'm so happy right now. Mm. Hi, could I get a number one? No pickles. Hello. Thank you. Oh, thank you. So are you. Thank you. You guys are so nice. Thank you. Bye, you too. I feel so awkward when anyone compliments me. I don't know what to do. I'm like, I'm, I'm just an awkward person, honestly. So I love other awkward people. Do you guys wait to get home to eat your fries or do you eat it in the car? I always give myself one fry because I feel like it's making me practice self-control. So yeah, this is my one fry for the ride home. And then I put the bag away. Oh my god, Chick-fil-A fries are everything. I don't know if it's because I'm starving right now, but wow, this is like the best fry I've ever tasted. Okay, I'm totally eating salads the rest of this weekend because I am so full right now. I should have never ate. <sighs> should have made a healthier choice. That's what I get for not having something prepared. I made a choice I didn't want. So I took a little break while I was eating and I was watching the show Working Moms on Netflix. But now, I know I already filmed a video, but I kinda wanna film one more little video for Instagram. I might do like a little get on ready with me and remove my makeup because I wanna do a mask right now anyways. Usually when I do, not every time, but usually when I do my makeup, like when I remove it at night, if I have time, I like to put a little sheet mask on just to like because i feel like when you remove your makeup i don't know my skin can feel a little dry so i like to just pamper it a little bit even though i will say i haven't worn makeup for an entire week like this whole week i have not put a stitch of makeup i've only put my skincare on every day and that's it i just gave my skin a little bit of a break and you know what it felt great but it also felt really great to do my makeup today decided we're gonna film a little instagram video i'm gonna choose the fit Ooh, i haven't tried these now that i think about it these were new in my collection they're like pop art inspired sheet masks okay i think we should do this one which is the face and maybe one of the eye ones <gasps> there's a lip one too should we just do all of them but look at how clean my station is i love it just gonna set these up. What else do I need? Oh, I need I'm kind of sad. Like, I'm not ready to say goodbye to you guys, but um, there's nothing else <laughs> happening right now. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah.